Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smalta Jannah. Smalta Jannah. <laughs> Madness mate, madness. Rowan Atkinson aka Mr Bean aka Johnny English aka Black Adder has said that Boris's comments about the burqa or the niqab or the face veil was actually funny. I'm not gonna be that guy that sits there and says Mr Bean was actually quite funny, I don't like it anymore, it's rubbish. Rowan Atkinson, I used to like that guy, I hate him now. Mr Bean, he said that He's not even funny. Nah, that's not right mate. Of course Mr Bean was funny. Let's not get things bent out of shape. If he thinks that that's comedy mate, maybe he should have carried on doing Mr Bean like we asked him to. Because then he would have maintained his sense of humour. It's clearly become stale over time mate. That's what's trending on Twitter. Let's see what people have actually got to say about that. Claire Green, she says sigh. Well thanks Rowan Atkinson for ruining Mr Bean and Johnny English for me. Making a joke about religion is very different than making fun of religion. Boris Johnson isn't a comedian, he's trying to be the most powerful man in the country, you should know better. Of course people know this, he wants to be the next PM, so he wants the votes of the far right which is becoming a major portion in the UK and he's doing just that mate. He's a smart guy, yeah, even though he may not look it. Richard Litla. While I've always agreed with Ron Atkinson that we should be allowed to joke about religion and be free to offend, I don't think Boris was joking as such. His comments play into the much wider issue of accelerating populism and the tacit endorsement of far right political discourse. True mate, could have said it better myself. I've never loved Rowan Atkinson more. Of course mate. Elena Elliot, so privately educated Rowan Atkinson, net worth 100 million whose older brother Rodney, a big pal of Norris McWhorter, narrowly lost the UKIP leadership election in 2000 has come out in support of Johnson's comments about Muslim women's dress. Amazed to hear this, just amazed. Sarcasm of course, I didn't even know that his brother flipping tried to uh, get elected in UKIP. That's mad mate. Aaron Bastani says, It is not a question of Boris Johnson's right to offend Ron Atkinson. He is an MP. It is scandalous for him to repeatedly dehumanise minorities and make bigoted jokes. Politics is public service, yet he squats in a taxpayer funded mansion mocking those who pay for it. It's true mate, he works for the people. You shouldn't really be offending the people that are paying your wages mate. Red North, I guess as a rich white guy Ron Atkinson must get a lot of abuse in the street from thick white guys egged on by bigoted politicians. What a toss pot. 100% true mate, Ron Atkinson doesn't have to walk down the streets in a burqa. That's hard enough as it is mate. Much respect to the women that actually do it. For a woman to do that especially now where you honestly don't know which day someone's gonna come rip it off or shout abuse at you. This doesn't help. Alright let's see what Steven says. So Rowan Atkinson has come out in support of Bojo the Clown. Well I asked them both to consider the letter I spotted. Let's see. No woman in a burqa or a hijab or a burkini has ever done me any harm but I was sacked without explanation by a man in a suit. Men in suits missold me pensions and endowments, costing me thousands of pounds. A man in a suit led us on a disastrous and illegal war. Men in suits led the banks and crashed the world economy. Other men in suits then increased the misery to millions through austerity. If we are to start telling people what to wear, maybe we should pan suits. Oh my god. This is probably the best tweet that I've come across mate. Yeah, brilliant. Femi says, imagine if you were regularly abused or threatened for your religion which happens in, uh, to Christians in some countries, you rely on the state to protect you. So if a comedian, for example Ron Atkinson, jokes about you being an inanimate object, that's less problematic. But you're an MP. 100% mate, 100%. Rowan Atkinson has defended Boris Johnson's comments about the burqa. It goes without saying that the left on Twitter now claim his entire body of work is not funny. Nah mate, of course not. Just because he said this doesn't wipe out all the comedy he's done. But we can say that he's lost his touch on comedy if he finds something like this funny. Harry Steve says, so I take it Rowan Atkinson would happily walk up to a lady in the street and say this because if he wouldn't then it's not funny, it's racist abuse. 100% mate. So if you wouldn't do it yourself, uh, must be wrong then isn't it? 
Hearing that Rowan Atkinson, who is neither female or a Muslim, doesn't find what Johnson says offensive has really made me rethink my view. <laughs> Uh, Rowan Atkinson is a comedian, he's entitled to his opinion about Boris, but Boris Johnson is a politician and supposed to be a professional and not make jokes regarding religion. Rowan's job is to make jokes, Boris's is not. So it's actually quite refreshing to see comments like this where people are actually using common sense and academia and facts and I'd say to the people watching as well you guys need to calm down yeah anytime something happens you can't just start getting angry and start saying I don't like this person I don't like this all the kuffar like this all of these people are like this no it's never all the people yeah and you got to be calm stuff like this has always happened it is happening and will continue to happen it's Islam Islam is the only religion that's actually challenging the everyday world that we're living in. It challenges stuff like interest which is the basis of the modern day banking system. It challenges the leaders with bribery and justice and stuff like this and it also encourages spirituality in a person's life so they remain conscious and they have a higher level of thinking which of course leaders don't want you to have. They want you to be like sheep easily controlled and manipulated. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys. Let's get smart to Jannah to 100k don't forget the merch until next time guys assalamu alaikum